and welcome back to another episode. We're glad to have you as always. Today we're getting our first glimpses at full self-driving beta that was released out to just a select few people. If you're new to the channel or this is your first time, we'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. So like I said, full self-driving beta has been released and this is a limited release and only a select few people were selected for this program. Tesla did state that they were taking extreme caution in rolling this out and were being very selective on who they were going to choose to test out the beta. So this beta is the full on self-driving that Elon Musk has been promising for years. We have been getting bits of information throughout the years suggesting full self-driving is just around the corner. And as it turns out, it is now here. So this full self-driving limited beta will be to allow a select few people to implement the full new software, which is a complete rewrite into their Tesla cars. They're going to use these people and the data gathered from that to identify some potential issues before rolling this out across the masses. In addition, there are regulators that have to be involved in this process. Tesla can't just roll this thing out without some sort of level of review and giving regulators a chance if necessary, to implement new rules and regulations to protect you and me as consumers. So it should be very interesting to see what all comes from this. So originally we assumed that there were NDAs in place with those folks who were selected for the beta. However, we're starting to see plenty of videos popping up on Twitter. And this is kind of exciting because I was a little worried we weren't going to know anything about this depending on how those NDAs were set up. Brandon E916 on Twitter has posted several videos that show some very interesting looks at the full self-driving beta. So in this first video, we can see it traversing through a roundabout. Although it's not going around a roundabout, you can clearly see the software in the car and the cameras can identify that this is a roundabout. It appears the car comes to a complete stop, before traversing through, ensuring that there's no traffic coming by. Next, we're seeing a first ever full self-driving taking a left-hand turn. And this is kind of a big deal because this has not been accomplished in the past. And this is probably one of the more dangerous things that a full self-driving system can do. So it's exciting to see it successfully navigate and taking a left turn. It's also kicking on the turn signal all by itself, which is pretty dang cool. And here we're seeing a Tesla just navigate through an intersection. Intersections are the most dangerous place for cars to go through. So it appears that the full self-driving computers are handling this without issue. It's also doing a great job of identifying obstacles and other cars. One of the biggest takeaways I'm seeing from this is visually this is completely different than what we're used to. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a temporary thing where it's showing you what the computer's seeing, which is really cool. And then eventually once it's fully implemented, it'll switch back to what we're used to seeing. But it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. In my opinion, this is probably too distracting as it is right now. So it should be good to see how this thing finally lands as a completed product. I want to thank the sponsor of this episode, Phantom Wallet, who offers premium wallet designs made of an aluminum chassis with options of wood, leather, and carbon fiber finishes that suits everyone's unique style. Grab the card you need with a quick flip of the lever. RFID and NFC protection is built in, ensuring a safe and secure alternative to traditional options. So now that we're seeing this for the first time, we're getting a really good idea of what to expect with full self-driving. Elon Musk did tweet last night that full self-driving, both new and upgrade, meaning buying a new car with full self-driving or an existing car and adding full self-driving, will be going up by $2,000 come Monday. This is a very short notice and probably the shortest notice we're getting of a new price increase. When asked if implementing the price increase could be limited to the US due to the availability not ready for other markets, Elon Musk did say sure. So full self-driving come Monday will be $10,000. And now we knew this is where full self-driving was headed. We knew that $10,000 was that end game and that is where Tesla was headed with this system. But given that, I feel like it's pretty steep to ask for that $10,000 now 
when you're not necessarily getting anything for it. So come Monday, it'll cost you $10,000 and you will not have anything more than what you had on Sunday. There are a lot of approvals that have to happen and a lot of regulators that have to be involved for this thing to be rolled out across the masses. This can't just be flipped on like a switch. So the problem's going to be in my mind is how do you convince somebody to pay $10,000 for something they're not going to have access to. Although that's the same question I've been asking at the $7,000 mark and recently the $8,000 mark. So this time, at least at minimum, you know what's coming and it appears that it's finally on the horizon. Tesla's been promising this for the end of 2020 and it looks like they might actually do it. But again, there's a lot that has to happen between now and the end of the year for this thing to be fully live across the fleet. This starts to beg another question. Where is the subscription model? I was really thinking that we would hear more about this last night on the earnings call. However, we still don't know what the pricing is going to be and when to expect full self-driving subscription model to be available. People like myself are waiting for that subscription model so we can try it before we buy it. And I think that that'll be a great option for a lot of people depending on how the subscription model is set up. Can you add it when you need it and remove it when you don't? If that's how it's going to work, I think it's gonna be very hard for Tesla to sell a full program. So it'll be interesting to see and what that price is as well. So again, still no news there, but my best guess at this point, they're going to roll that subscription model out in parallel with implementing and releasing full self-driving across the fleet. So if end of 2020 is indeed that time frame, I would expect that subscription model to also be available end of 2020. So I'm curious to know, after seeing some of these videos coming out and understanding now that the price is going to go up by $2,000, will you be getting full self-driving over the weekend? Are you going to be spending the $8,000 now between today and Sunday, or are you going to continue to hold off, or are you just simply not interested in getting full self-driving? Let me know in the comments what your plans are and why. I'm interested to know. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Tesla. As always, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.